What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. So let's get into this whole situation. Let's talk about Kevin Hunter. He's out here in these streets, and it seems like he has another lawsuit going on. And as you guys know, he recently went to court to ask the judge to reinstate his alimony payments or his allowance he was getting from Wendy Williams. And um, the judge said no. And he basically says he's having hardship at this point in time. He needs a hip surgery. He needs a hip replacement and he doesn't have the money for it and also paying his car insurance and also paying his you know fees and his mortgage and things of that nature that his home can be foreclosed on so he's struggling a lot and also his son Kevin Hunter Jr. is struggling too as well because he really doesn't have any residency in Florida and the condo luxury condo that Kevin Jr. was staying at is no longer you know being maintained by Wendy anymore so he's in back payment of $75,000 and also current payments as well so there's a whole lot going on but it seems like Kevin Hunter has came out here and these streets and he wants to sue none other than Tasha K O M G for an interview that happened in 2019 where Avion Williams okay so Avion recently did an interview in 2019 with Tasha K and he basically said he had a relationship with Kevin Hunter he describes an intimate nasty disgusting like puke and all types of things that was going on with Kevin Hunter his his body his physique the thing his fetishes and things that he allegedly likes and don't like and it was all pure disgusting okay Okay. Avion was married at the time. Avion had a lot going on, baby, and it was crazy. And it seems like when it comes to Avion, he was working with Kevin Hunter as a artist, and he was signed to Kevin Hunter, and he also did appear on the Wendy Williams show. But um, things had sour, and he interviewed with Tasha K, and basically said all these things about Kevin Hunter, which was like, OMG, you was clutching more than your pearls you was clutching your stomach and you was trying not to puke because it was just downright nasty but in recent events that interview and clips has recently resurfaced as far as you know going viral on tiktok and then going viral on instagram and kevin hunter is feeling a certain type of way about that whole situation so now he is filing a lawsuit against tasha k and he states Kevin Hunter tells U.S. Sun, I am preparing for a defamation lawsuit. Anybody that knows me, and this is no disrespect to the LGBTQ community, they know where I am at with it. And he also says, I am a straight alpha male. Okay, so you know Kevin Hunter is going all the way there. And he basically did have some derogatory things to say about Tasha K and talk about her looks and talk about her point blank period. And he was just really upset that now that these clips of what Avion Williams has said about his sexuality and them being intimate together and domestic violence and all that other stuff that, you know, he's feeling a certain type of way. So he's basically getting in line behind um, Cardi B because Cardi B actually won her lawsuit and Tasha K is ordered to pay her four million dollars so Kevin Hunter already you know needs you know some money as well and he's all Hunter is looking for a come up and he gonna try to get one point blank period but Avion was very wild with saying all these things that he said about Kevin Hunter I mean he had it all you know all up in his head like how did he come up with these disturbing stories and Kevin Hunter said that when it comes to Avion he did apologize to him and say that he was lying Tasha K recently said on you know Sean Davy Wade show that you know avion didn't tell her that he lied and she said she had no idea that he was going to come on and say any of these things she was shocked she was horrified and she just kept saying allegedly allegedly she said well kevin hunter he gonna have to get in line and she has a new attorney team so she fired ogre and got her a whole new team so in any event uh we shall see what's going to pop off with this situation but tasha k is basically proclaiming that she is not worried about kevin hunter and she's not worried about the lawsuit and she basically says that he needs to worry about his son and finding him residency in a place to stay, stay so he can continue to go to school okay so she's throwing all types of salt onto the wound and we're gonna see if kevin hunter's gonna come out swinging or he gonna go away quiet but we shall see
Recently, Wendy Williams was recently out. She was with her brother, you know, spending time in Florida with her family. And it seems like she's with her father, her brother, and they're on the boat. It seems like they're enjoying lunch and they're having a good time. They're very quiet, very peaceful. I don't know if they have a problem, you know, with Thomas Williams, you know, Wendy's brothers filming or whatever the case is. But it looks like they're peaceful. They're just relaxing, you know. They done ate. They got full bellies, I guess. I don't know. It may look a little strange or it may not. It just looks like a family spending time together and it's good to see Wendy wear her blood with people, you know, that she was born in this world with, surrounded by her brother, she was surrounded by her father, unfortunately her mother's not here, but just to see Wendy Williams in familiar surroundings, you know, people that are supposed to love her and love her, so that's really good, and also it's been stated that Wendy Williams is actually filming a reality TV show, so what's going on with this situation, so allegedly it's been reported that Wendy has a upcoming reality TV show called all over the country including an emotional visit to our hometown New Jersey and also it seems like it has slipped that Wendy Williams filming crew let it slip that the show is going to be released in this fall okay so is this really true or are these lies because we know there was supposed to be a podcast and we recently heard that the podcast was canceled. So I don't know what's going on with that whole situation. And now Wendy Williams is filming a reality TV show. Um, I wonder, are they shopping this reality TV show around? Where is it going to be exclusively shown to the public? You know, is it going to be on a streaming service? Is it going to be on a website? Like, what's going on with that whole situation? Because she's coming back to TV. and she coming back to a network? Like, what's happening? But congratulations to Wendy Williams and any capacity that she wants to work. As long as she enjoying herself and she's taking it easy. She worked a lot and she did a lot. And right now, she just needs to heal and rest. Whatever floats her boat, whatever makes her happy, then that's what she's should do but congratulations to her on this new allegedly reality tv show that she's filming with wendy all over the country wendy all over the country so she's gonna be going everywhere talking to people this shall be interesting so let's get down to this situation it's been reported to the u.s sun that wendy williams was out drinking cosmos in new york and she was at her favorite bar and she also went to a gay club as well that night it was on a friday and it was march 17th and she was drinking cosmopolitans and you know the big situation with that is wendy allegedly does have a problem with alcoholism that we all have seen and heard of and she recently got out of a malibu rehab allegedly you know for all the things that she is going through as we speak but it seems like wendy williams is trying her best and she keeps on trucking and she keeps on moving okay it's just that she gotta put that cup down but in any event also it's been reported that some of the party goers at the club noticed that when wendy williams walked in that she was just staring into clear space like she didn't know where she was this is allegedly until someone that she knew walked in and greeted her and then you know she kind of loosened up or whatever the case is or she realized where she was this is where the statement as you see on the screen is coming from like basically saying that wendy williams is lost out here in these streets but also, it did state that Wendy went to the bar and she um, was asked, what did she want to drink? And she said something to get me ifed up, child, Wendy. Come on, girl. <laughs> 